So I just wanted to talk about uh, two two little bugs that might be coming up in your games. Um, the, 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 fir the first one is collisions, right? So like you might be finding when you're testing things out, oh, you're going through towards a portal, towards a portal, and it doesn't register that you've gone through it. And we'll look at why that is. Uh, the other thing I wanted to address is as you go through it, maybe sometimes it's like flickering. And it's like, oh, why is that flickering happening? You know, like it goes from... Or from viewing the scene to a black screen to viewing the scene again and it's like what's going on in there so we'll look, we'll look at both of those the, f the first one being the collisions right so so here's our here's our portal and uh, here's our here's our uh, our camera and that's our camera's collider and you might be finding oh as I go through here uh, you know if I'm going at say this is uh, one uh, two three, four, four, four meters, uh, and let's say I'm going at uh, one meter per physics update, uh, I might, I might, and my, my, if my collider is like less than a meter long, there's a good chance that it's not actually going to register a collision. I'm going to go from being here to being here. And so we'll look at, we'll look at uh, how we can do that. One option would be uh, we could have a really long collider like that, um, and that'll be more likely to, you know, to or, act, or no, we could be sure that every physics update, it'll be, um, it, yeah, it, it'll be registering a collision. Um, of course, the other thing we could do is slow down our uh, our camera when we're testing. So instead of going at one meter per per physics frame, we'll go more like uh, you know ten centimeters per physics frame or something. You know, and actually that'll help us debug our next issue, uh, which is the the flickering. So, so the flickering uh, has it's, it's got two reasons why it's happening. Uh, so let's say we've got our, our cameras here. Uh, we we have these. The first reason is we've got these things called clipping planes. There's a near and a far clipping plane, which is the camera's uh, way of saying I'm only going to render things that are, uh, let's say, 10 centimeters in front of me to 500 meters in front of me. You know, so oh, if it's so far away, then I don't want to worry about rendering it because you know it'll be it'll be a bit of an effort. You know, like for for something you can barely see, right? Uh, the other thing uh, is is having a rendering something really really close. You might get strange effects happening, like uh, like like if a if a sometimes with shaders they'll behave unexpectedly if you rendered say like I don't know like a millimeter in front of you. So Unity says the closest you can render is one centimeter. And let's say for example, uh, let's say we're talking, all right, pretend these are now centimeters, right? And there's our, there's our, uh, our clipping plane. We'd start there and you know, it would end somewhere off there, which would mean that we're not gonna render the portal and we need to render the portal to uh, to write to that stencil buffer, which would mean we'll be able to see things on the other side. So, I mean, we can we can solve this. All we need to do is say when we're checking whether we're on the other side of the uh, of the portal or not. Let's say is our clipping plane on the other side of the portal. You know, so don't worry about where our camera is. Where, where our camera is plus wherever how far away the clipping plane is. That's when we'll make the transition. Now the second thing that can be happening, like even if we do that, we might notice like uh, like one frame of, of flickering still, and it's like, why is that happening? Well, uh, we've been using we've been using uh, our physics update to uh, to change how things render. Okay, so um, I don't know if I can draw. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a go at drawing this. Bear, bear with me. All right. Um, so Unity has. You, you can think of you can think of Unity as having two two loops, right? There's the render loop, you know, the good old update, all right, and then and then there's also the physics loop, you know. So that's that's called a fixed update. Now, now on collision enter, on collision stay, all that jazz is that's in our fixed update loop. And that can be asynchronous to the update loop, and it can render after our render loop. Should I say render? I mean, it can it can update after our render loop, our regular update loop, which means our 
our camera can go onto the other side of the portal, right? And then update, render everything, and that won't work, of course, because we haven't we haven't updated our shaders yet. Okay, so that's going to mean that nothing's going to render, uh, no, not not going to render as we expected. So what we what we really want to do is we want to get this shader behavior to be happening in our update loop, and we can easily do that because. Instead of saying on collision stay, we can write our own custom on collision stay. We can have a Boolean value that'll say like has collided, and then we'll say oh, on collision enter, yes, we have collided. On collision exit, no, we haven't collided. In the update loop, if that Boolean value is true, then we'll do our we'll do our all our on collision stay functionality. Um, yeah, so yes, yeah, so we'll run, jump into the code and, and just see what that looks like. 